and welcome to Talking Comics issue 35. I am back once again with Zach and we're here Hello to do everyone. our reviews episode. We are at limited edition comics with a incredible range as always. As always. I'm excited. You're excited? I'm excited this week, yeah. I'm ready for it. Ready for what? It. it just the review. The review. You've, you've, you've got it prepared this week. <laughs> we'll go that far. No. We'll go that far. No. I, just to let you know, just before the show, I said, Zach, what do you want to review? And he goes, nothing. And I was like, no, you've got to review something, you've got to do a comic. He goes, all right, I'll do this one then. Like, it was a big effort for you. Sorry, if, uh, if I'm telling the story wrong, then, you know. <laughs> Apologies, yeah, just correct me. Correct me in the comments. Like, he, he's talking about a completely different He thing. may not have read the comic. <laughs> I've read them. It might have been a while ago. A while ago. Never read it. You know, can I just, can I just do an example, right? This is not considered reading the comic. Oh, nice picture. That's not considered that's, a good comic. That's Zach reading the comic. <laughs> that's Zach reading the comic. Right there. So if you've ever been wondering about those reviews, like the totally yeah. makes any sense, yeah. now you know. I'll just look at the pictures. I think we should get on with it, shouldn't we? Uh, I'm, I'm holding a big, a really big book here. Yeah. It's not even a comic. It's it's some it's kind a of comic. Yeah, but it's like a prestige format. It's lovely. It's massive. It's awesome. And it's uh, Jeff Johns's final issue. Final issue of Green Lantern, which saddens me. Was it? Yeah. So tell us about the it. The Jeff, Jeff Johns. Without spoiling too much, what happened? Without spoiling too much. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what happened, or you can't. You, you can't I, say I can't, without I can't, spoiling I can't, it. I can't word it without spoiling it. Oh, that's tough. You're gonna have to. The, the important thing is, it is the big finale of the Green Lantern run. Like Jeff Johns has been working on it. I mean, with one shots and that, he's over a hundred issues of Green Lantern. Oh my God, he dies! No, joking. Just, just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say what happens because it's too, it's too important. I haven't read it by the way, so that joke really is joking. I, I yeah, haven't read it. Yet. It's too important what happens. It just, it closes it nicely for everything. I mean, if anyone's read the Jeff Johns run, it was a fantastic run of comics. Like, he expanded the Green Lantern universe into everything it is today. I, I have actually been reading it. I just haven't got this far yet. Yeah, I mean, without him, there'd be no orange, no red, no blue. None of the other colour lanterns night, that brightest, make it up. Blackest night. Brightest day. And this is him just drawing it all to a close. He sets up all the characters at the end for the future stories. Right. And it's just, it's like his big love story to Green Lantern. Like, it is, it's Baz in there. For, like, a page. <sighs> isn't he always just Baz, just the worst <laughs> He's just Green Lantern? He? He's, He's like, just he the worst down. Green Lantern ever. No, in no? his moments. Really? Who, who, was a, who was a worse Green Lantern than Baz? Kyle Rayner. Yeah. Kyle right. Rayner's a terrible <laughs> yeah, character. Kyle Rayner's horrendous. bitching about his girlfriend in the fridge for every issue. I know, it was awful. Yeah. It was awful. Yeah. Alright, anyway, let's move on. So, what would you tell us about this comic? Any good? Oh, uh, brilliant. It was just brilliant. Like, if you've read the rest of the run, it was great. Artwork? Up yes. to scratch. Artwork, great. All the guest artists, you Ethan Van Skyver, who did loads. Ivan Rice has a big sort of eight page folded out of all the lanterns. Is there really? Yeah. Wow. Which is fantastic. Wow, that's but, awesome. But the whole book, it's broken up with pages of people just saying how much they admire Jeff Johns' run. Right. So it's it's just a big thank you to Jeff Johns for right. what he's done to the character, and it just rounds it off so nicely for, right. for the future. Okay. Okay. Well, I wish I owned a copy, but. But you don't. I don't, because no. it's all sold out everywhere. Yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna. You can't, you can't have that one either. I can't have this one. That's customers. Well, yeah. it's, it's terrible. Yeah, let me pass that back. Yeah. Um, okay, so it's my turn, and uh, I've got. Uh, it's more a comparison of two books, and it's uh, two one classic that everyone knows of and been spoken about plenty, and one that's a little bit different, no one knows about really, but still by an important writer. Um, I've got here Sandman. This is the first book, uh, Prelude, Prelude and Nocturnes, I believe, and it's uh, Neil Gaiman, and it, 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 it was fabulous, right? It's a brilliant book. Have you read no? it? No, I haven't. You haven't read the Sandman saga? No, I know. No. Oh my god! How have you, have you missed it? I, it's on the list. It's on, it's on the list. On the reading it's on list. the list, yeah, that you'd leave it. It's the bottom of that list, isn't it? it it's about halfway, but it's quite a big list. It's a, look, you need to get on this book, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a brilliant book. It's basically, I'll tell you the story, a little rundown. Um, these guys, are, it's kind of weird, these guys are trying to uh, tap into the mystical nature of the universe and uh, specifically try and avoid like getting you know dying and taking control of the physics of the world in, in, in its own weird way and they start to use this like black magic to cast um, 
a being down, which they didn't know who it was going to be to kind of give them the power to do this. Okay. Unfortunately, it was the Sandman who turns up. Right. And um, they they kind of lock him down for many, many years. And he then ends up getting retribution after he's at managing to escape to freedom. Okay. Okay. And it, so it sounds awfully complicated. It is. Well, it is. It's Neil Gaiman, and if you're not expecting a complicated, in-depth it's just, it's book with with very deep understanding and and clever uh, plot lines and a little bit of wackiness, then don't read Neil Gaiman because that's what he's like. Okay. But I think he's brilliant. Uh, one of the best. Um, I, I think that he's one of the most technically gifted writers that I've ever read in the comic book industry. I think that's I think that's the fair the fairest way. I, I prefer some of the imagination of some of the other stuff I've read, but. Technically gifted. I mean, it's just beautiful to read, uh, you know, written wise. And I'm gonna not. Uh, this, like I said, this is phenomenal. Everybody knows it already. If you haven't read it, you need to get onto it. It's phenomenal. Oh. And you need to get onto it. Oh, sort of. The artwork is a very simplistic sm style that matches uh, the Sandman tale. Okay. Okay. And the colours are again very basic. But remember, back in the day, th you know, Vertigo had that look to it. So yeah, yeah. It, it matches the the style of the publisher, and it, it you know it it, it was works. all it all works very very well. Um, uh, so I've got another book here, and it's very similar, this book, and it's called um, The Book of Lost Souls by Michael J. Straczynski, which was done under Marvel's icon, kind of like Vertigo for DC. Yeah. And it, it again, has this very similar story about this guy who has a terrible life and uh, ends up trying to commit suicide, right, and in turn becomes... Someone very important that hangs out between uh, uh, death and life, kind of a purgatory, if you like, and he has to guide people. And and I was, it, it's very difficult and complicated to to explain exactly what's going on here. But he ends up guiding people through the story. Now, personally, this is again written by Michael J. Straczynski, a huge writer. If you don't know who he is, Babylon, uh, Babylon Five, not a fan. Uh, Spider Man. Yeah, what not, do you mean? Not a fan. Why are you not a fan? I'm not a fan of John Michael Straczynski. Why? I'm sorry. Superman grounded. I'm sorry, I'm just not. He's brilliant. I personally, he's one of my favourite writers. Write, I think. Didn't write any of his stuff. So no? Well. no, no. You didn't like the Spider-Man, right? Not particularly. Well, then you're an idiot, then, aren't you? Yeah. He's, right. That's all. His new that image one. number one was. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? I haven't read. I haven't read uh, Manhattan, uh, Mr. Uh, Doctor Manhattan. Uh, that he did for... Yeah, that was meh. <laughs> really? I haven't read it, so I don't know. But actually, <laughs> talking about being meh, this book is very meh. And it's kind of his attempt on doing Sandman. So That's why right, I put wait, these wait, two wait. together. You're shouting at me about not liking my... I think he's brilliant. Gonna... I think he's and brilliant. Going, oh, it's... Look, no writer is infallible. Everyone's had their good and bad moments. Everyone's done their brilliant ideas and their not-so-brilliant ideas. If you're lucky, you get to do your not-so-brilliant ideas. <laughs> how, many, how many comic books have you published? Oh right, okay. right, right. Well, that's, uh, that's fine, and uh, you know, hopefully one day I will get my chance. But I haven't been lucky enough to be able to write some of this stuff, and he's been lucky enough. And unfortunately, this isn't one of his best titles. But none of them. <laughs> yeah, I think none he's of them are his best titles. I think he's brilliant. Let's move on. I think we should. Have you just cut that out then? Just no, I'm, I'm going to put that. No. no, I'm just. Done. I'm just done. The art, look, the artwork isn't particularly good either. I just didn't think it matched particularly well, and it, it's not great. And that's why they didn't get a second volume. So I think that that book wasn't a second volume. So Sandman, all or something. Well, I just so. think I think the reason why I put these two together is I want to point out that people, you know, it doesn't matter how good you are, need to leave Sandman alone. <laughs> Unless your name's Neil Gaiman, leave Sandman alone. Don't do another take on it. Don't do anything else with it. Leave it where it is. It's a beautiful piece. You know, just don't touch it. And, and he wasn't trying to. I'm sure he wasn't trying to do Sandman, but, but it, it comes across very it's similar. Too similar not it was to point too out. similar. Yeah, not okay. to point out. Yeah. Do so you get my point? Yeah. So, so what are you going to do? Read Sandman, right? Yes. ASAP. Yes. Get on it. Yes. Go on. Like this... all your recommendations that I just rushed to read. Yeah. I tell you something. You're not making yourself. You're not making me look stupid. That, that you out there, you know. Sam. Anyway, oh, move on. Everyone. Yeah, you are. Uh, it's going to be in the comments. Hawkeye. Below. The new Hawkeye. Yeah. I refuse to read it. 
For ages. And who recommended it? For you? ages. Everyone. Yeah. I got recommended by everyone. Yeah. This book was good. Yeah. But the thing I couldn't I couldn't do the art. I, I didn't it's like kind it. of I It's just, kind of kiddie, isn't it? I just couldn't get past it. It's too simplistic. It's kind of simplistic. Back in the it's kinda of got that seventies look almost to it. Yeah, I'm, backgrounds are flat, there's no three dimensions to the backgrounds. Yeah, I'm not I'm not normally too bothered, but I just didn't want to do it. Very simple detail. And I finally read it. Yeah, and what did you think? It's fantastic. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it is really, really good. Brilliant. It's about what Hawkeye does in his spare time, basically, when he's not out with the Avengers and Saving, fighting monsters and everything. It's just what he does in the every day. Yeah, because these people are humans at the end of the day. Yeah, just, they, well, some of them are anyway. Some of them are the humans, but some of them are humans and they, they, they have a private life. Yeah, and it's just about him, like, for instance, the landlord of his building yeah. wants to evict everyone. Right. Which is right. And, like, he just pays the entire building's rent. Just because that's, that's the kind of guy he, he is. Because yeah, he, he can. He just, it's just about him doing good deeds like that. Yeah. Like he just well, it's people. a feel-good book, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You but felt it, you felt good about Hawkeye afterwards. Yeah, but Fraction just writes it brilliantly. Such a good character book. See, do you, talking about writers again, we spoke about Michael J, right? Yeah. Fraction, you you think everything he's written is good? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I was going to bring up uh, Fear itself because. Uh, yeah, we, we agree on that. Yeah. And it, Fear itself was rubbish. Right. Give Fraction a single so, character. So would you agree with me that writers write the good stuff and the bad stuff? I would. Right, so that's it then. Let's just leave it there. I'm just saying Shrewsky hasn't got any good stuff. One nil for me. But, um, <laughs> give Fraction a single character. He mm. does it great. He develops the character. It, for itself, was different because he yeah. had all those characters. There's so much going on. Did you, did, you, did you read what he'd done with uh, Acha, Adja? I, I think yeah, the Immortal Iron Fist stuff. Did you read the Immortal Iron Fist? I've read some of it. Oh, I my haven't God. read the full run. I couldn't okay. get hold of it. There are five, there are five books. Yeah. Very hard to get hold of now. Okay, the first three books are brilliant. Yeah, and then the fourth. More book, it was good. The fourth, good. the fourth book was a kind of, you know, fill in, and the fifth book was very rushed, and they they swapped out some of the uh, creators on there, and it was disappointing. But the first three books are just some of the best. You know, that's what comics are about. Yeah. So. Yeah. Just like this. Just like that, yeah. yeah. Hawkeye's great. I mean, it's all about his relationships with people, about what he does in this And it's still time. continuing, isn't it? They're still yeah, it's still going. It's still going. Eyes are nominated. People love it. Like, it's, it is a really, really good story. Okay. Yeah, no write it. Okay. Check it out. Well, well, that's you. Check it out. I've had the, the opportunity to read it. It's great. Oh, have you read it? Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> so we're both, we're both, I agree with you. It's brilliant. Okay, we're on bar. Anyway, I think that's it. It's time to, uh, time for you to get off my show. <sighs> Already that time of the it week rushed, again. It rushed by. That, that it? time of the week again to get rid of you. I look forward <laughs> to that. I look forward to starting it so I can finish it with you. Yeah. Isn't it? It's great. Uh, so thank you for staying tuned to Talking Comics, and we hope to see you again next time.